different day. We are at one of the properties. Right now we're just hanging up some temporary drapes that we found laying around. Just to close the windows in. Just so that, you know, from the street people can't just, you know, walk up and just see on the inside. Yeah, that's just what we're doing just right now. Just as a window covering. And it looks better than like newspaper up to the windows or like a sheet. So whenever I come across like spare drapes and stuff, no, nah, that ain't gonna work. Um, yeah, so that's what we just did with those windows back here and the windows all the way up there. I'm gonna move y'all back and see if I can kind of show y'all some of the stuff we did. I'm gonna set y'all right here. So this right here is the dining room. I got y'all sitting in the kitchen, but this is the dining room. We had a wall that was right here that opened up into like our arch. It was a wall right here. What you call them kind of walls? Because we had to support it. Um, you said the wall? Oh, the, uh, uh, low bearing. Yeah, low bearing. We had a low bearing wall right here, so it had to get re supported because I wanted this space opened up. <clears throat> And I feel like it looked better, just wide open like this. And then back here is the living room. And then the French doors, those go out to a porch, a bricked in porch. Um, but you can only access that porch through these two double doors. So it's like a little private porch right there. But I feel like it looks so much more open without the wall there. Like it just, it looks so much better, but it was, a uh, a whole wall right here was just like a small opening that was like arched out and then it led you into the dining room. So it was like separation between the living room and the dining room. But taking away that wall opened up the space so now the living room flow into the dining room. The dining room flows into the kitchen. It was a wall, let me turn y'all, uh, this way now. So this is the kitchen. This is um, some sheetrock, but you probably can't see. But I can see a small little piece of this, but this whole wall went all the way up to the ceiling. I had this wall taken out too, or cut, like cut in half, just to open up the space to the actual kitchen. So, yeah, y'all, I'll be having like little visions and stuff. This is a two unit that we're converting into a one unit, y'all. Let me show y'all some of the work we did in the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. So, have our sink here. So I gotta do like the vanity and stuff like that. Get the, you know, like the vanity mirror. You have your outlets, you know to plug in, you know, like blow dryers and stuff like that. Oh, Lord, my battery's dying. Um, toilet is here. Here's the shower. We have some recessed lights that we have. We still have to do the fixtures for the, um, you know, for the tub and put the, put the shower head in up there. Um, yeah, but yeah. You know, stuff is in work in order too. Cause we've been working on like plumbing and all that type of stuff too. So, you know, got the plumbing situated and got hot water and all that type of stuff too. But I think that's all I'm gonna show y'all for right now. Or should we show them some, like a an unfinished room? Hold this room down. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to change my battery out. I'll be right back. Uh. <laughs> okay, so here goes some more of the kitchen. We got this area over here. Area back up in here. It was a whole wall right here too, y'all. And we got rid of that wall and it just opened the space out. So I'm going to sit y'all 
like back in here so you can kind of see how it like turned. Yeah, but it's all opened up. Okay, he said y'all should see the other two rooms that's on this level. So I'll show y'all the other two rooms. Oh, let me go to the front first. Oh, it's painted over. So that's the door right there. Got a little flight of stairs here. And this is the hallway. Baseboards. It still got like the original wood and, and whatnot. The front closet, they go me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take y'all to the back. It's two bedrooms on this level. And then there's more bedrooms upstairs. So this is one room, unfinished. So y'all seeing the before. So this is one bedroom here. Closet. Yeah. You know, it's not damaged, you know? Like it's not. It's not damaged like that. It's just, you know, some paint on the walls and, you know, they're plaster walls. But it's not like, it's no damage. Like that was a, um, a heat register. That's what that was there. But it's not damaged. We're gonna um, put carpet on the floors, put ceiling fans in all the rooms. And then, like I showed y'all, that's the bathroom. And then this is the other room. Let me turn y'all this way first so y'all can kind of see up in there. And then this is the other room. This room is huge. It has like built-in cabinets and stuff. All right here. And that's this room here. I'm not sure what, what this room was, but That'll be for the next buyer to decide, but it's a lot of space in here. Like I'm gonna sit y'all in a corner and then I'm gonna stand all the way to the bed. So y'all can kind of see. gonna be huge y'all it's gonna be huge well everything is all said and done this is gonna be a six bedroom three and a half bath house so yeah it's really nice this house is um a little under four thousand square feet so it's a really nice size house like it's a really nice size house and y'all know we in detroit so is our properties so yeah, like I invest in where I live, you know. I don't, yeah, I don't really care too much to go into the suburbs. I was telling them, like we live in Detroit, so we prefer to invest in Detroit. Right. Like I'm not interested in like the suburbs and stuff like that. Yeah. I rather like invest in the city that we live in. Right, right. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Living. Right. Like, this is our community. Like, this is in our neighborhood. But this, you know, Detroit is still our community. So, that's where we prefer to invest. Um, so, all of our properties are all in Detroit. 
But um, yeah, but y'all can see like it's not beat up, you know, like it's not like just beat up, you know, yeah. I be feeling like sometimes people, when they be showing like Detroit properties, they always like dilapidated. Don't you agree? Whoa. Not it is, dusty. yeah. What happened? It got dusty. Oh, these are more built-in cabinets too. I know I'm getting all sidetracked and stuff, but. But I feel like when people show Detroit properties, they always showing like the most dilapidated buildings or houses, you know. So that's why I want to show y'all ours. Even though we did do some work to it, for the most part, it, it looked like this when we bought it, didn't it? Like the walls wasn't like beat up, you know, like in the rooms and stuff. The floors are worse is here and you know, stuff like that. All we did majorly was like get get rid of walls and so far we got rid of three walls just on this level alone but I'm saying overall the whole house it was really good you want to say how much we got it for huh yeah, or keep know, it to ourselves it it's it's right okay y'all so he don't mind if I tell y'all uh, how much we pay for this house so we paid six thousand dollars for this house cash and this is a brick house two fireplaces basement and the basement had two bathrooms in it too we gutted them all out because we had to just gut the whole basement so that we can work you know but um yeah six thousand dollars cash all our properties are cashed out no loans no mortgages all cash that's just how we do it over here. <laughs> so, yeah. But I love this type of stuff, y'all. Real estate and, like, houses. Buying houses. Fixing them up. Just, like, real estate, period. Land and stuff like that. It excites me. It's, like, my favorite thing. It's, it's my favorite thing. So, I'm happy to have a partner that can share. And that, um, even if his passion for it isn't on um, 10 like mine's like he still can dig it you know and he see the money that can be made from it and and just the excitement that it bring me to so yeah happy for the support and you know even just when it comes to the financial aspect of it all you know yeah so being partnered up the correct way and in a healthy way that's a good thing too we don't have any investors. Let me just add that in there too. We don't have any investors. This isn't like investors. a, yeah, me, you, and God. The man who stays. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> so it just be me and him. We are our own little team. And um, yeah, setting up a future for the kids. Um, I am a believer in. If I can't leave them property, y'all going to have the finances from the properties <laughs> that we did have. So, yeah, just trying to leave them houses and lands, you know, not debt, you know, not trying to figure out mommy and daddy's debt, but just trying to figure out what their next move is going to be in real estate uh, with the things that we are leaving for them. So, yeah, this is just one of our properties. I really like this house because I really do just see the potential that this place have. And I know most probably would, I think most probably would keep it two units. Yeah, we Yeah, I think that that's probably the preferred way for people to keep it two units, but um, yeah. So this is just a little sneak peek into one of our, um, properties in Detroit, $6,000 property. So I hope y'all had enjoyed this little tour. And we gonna see y'all in our next little episode. Look at that, brick. What is it? Brick. Is that brick? Yeah, look, that's brick. I don't got my glasses on. Is it real brick? Yeah, real brick. It's coming off. It's coming off. Oh uh, yeah, is it on both sides? Yeah. Oh, so they painted over it yeah. in the front. What made you pull this off? I don't know. Because it's already loose, you know what I mean? It's coming off. It's 
break on that sauce? Yeah. Let me see. Watch it step back a little bit. Character. Yeah, that's nice. We we'll clean this brick up. Yeah. So we can just clean this brick up, and yeah, that's gonna add some character. Mm -mm. Yeah, that would look nice. That's nice. Y'all, typically in Detroit, a lot of these two units come with gas fireplaces, but what we do is we just cut the gas lines to them, pull the gas piping out, and just make them wood burning stoves. They still have, what's this thing called again? The flute. They still have flutes to them, so the smoke is still gonna rise up through the chimney, so we're just gonna turn this into a natural fireplace. So it'll be a wood burning fireplace um, here and upstairs. So that's just what we typically do. But yeah, once this fireplace get a good cleaning down, I'm gonna clean it down. And um, yeah, this will be a nice focal point on top of the, um, the double doors on this level. So yeah, I know we came across that brick out of nowhere, but I was exiting this video out. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.